Ultimo Dragon held numerous titles at the same time, and I heard you say in one interview that he actually held the uh, the WWE and WCW Cruiserweight title at the same time. Yeah, it was really interesting. It, it's um, w when he came in, you know, he had like I think he had like ten belts, ten or twelve, but ten certainly significant belt. All Japan, you know, New Japan, um, um, and I. I after capturing WCW belt, cruiserweight belt, he was the only person, and, and, and your audience can tell me that I'm wrong, but I believe, and, and this is a fact, he's the only person to ever held WCW and WWE or, or, or WWF at the time, cruiserweight belt at the same time. Now, our television at WCW, didn't didn't want us to say that. And matter of fact, they want to show those two belts together. So we, we kept it off the camera. But, um, you know, uh, I don't think anybody ever done it. Certainly collected all those belts all at once. And, and you know, Ultimate Dragon is Yoshihiro Asai. And, and we got to be real close friends. And I'm, I, I still do a lot of event with him. Um, and he's truly... The, the the international professional wrestler of mystery, right? I mean, he's he's in GQ magazine in Japan. Um, you know, you you see him going to Cuba every month. Um, he's in Europe. Um, What's he doing in Cuba? His best buddy is is um, um, uh, uh, Fidel Castro's son. Really? That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's, uh, so he's over there. Uh, you see him, his picture on a beach uh, with his European thongs on it, which I kind of tell him, I said, that's probably not a good look for him. But uh, <laughs> uh, he's, he, or him in, in uh, a Cuban Cohiba factory. Um, and he's, he's involved, you know, he's really tight with a lot of those government people over there. And, and uh, at one point, Antonio Inoki and, and, and Ultimo Dragon, Ultimo set this thing up to do a professional uh, wrestling event. Matter of fact, there's another company is working on bringing professional wrestling to, uh, uh, working on bringing professional wrestling to our uh, uh, military folks in Guantanamo Bay in Cuba and, and uh, possibly doing a show in Havana as well. So that's in works as well. So, uh, but getting back to Ultimo Dragon, he, he's, he's really, you know, I think he's 52 now, but I don't think he lost anything. I, I mean, I, you know, I did a show with him a couple weeks ago or three weeks ago, and, and I, um, he asked me to try to book him more in the United States because he'd been in Japan a lot. Um, he didn't want to wear out his welcome in Japan, so he wanted to get booked here in the States. So he'd been doing a lot of show here. And we have, um, you know, uh, a dozen booking between now to the end of the year in the United States. And I think you also still book, book uh, Ernest Miller, who you're very well uh, associated yeah, with. Yeah, Ernest and I, you know, we're, we have that martial art history because, you know, he still fights, believe it or not. He oh, fought, really? Yeah, he still fought. He fought last week in Miami. So, um, what type of... Uh, he is point fighting. Okay. Um, uh, so he, you know, we, we still get involved in that. He's well known in martial art world, sports, mar you know, sports karate world. Um, um, we were, I was in Atlanta at the Battle of Atlanta, and we were honored with, uh, uh, you know, uh, Eternal Martial Art Award. 